In the last video, we were given a pentagon with side length of 20 inches, and we were asked to find the area. So in that video, we weren't given the, the apothem. Now in some videos, they'll give you the apothem and the side length so you can compute the perimeter. So if you know that, you just plug into this formula. So the area of a pentagon, regular pentagon, is one half times the apothem A times the perimeter. And you can easily find the perimeter if you're given the length of one side because they're all the same. In a regular pentagon or any regular polygon, all the lengths of the polygon are the same. All the angles are the same measure. So in the one that I did, and I'll put a link to th that video in the uh, video description, we were given the side length of 20 and we found the apothem which is approximately 13.7638. Now, sometimes they'll give you both. They'll give you the apothem and the side length, and you just compute the perimeter and plug into this formula, and you got it. Sometimes they won't give you the side length. So in the last one, like I said, we were given the side length. I showed you how to find the apothem, and then you plug it in here and plug it into this formula. In this video, we're going to assume then that we're given the apothem to be 13.7638. And we want to find a side length so that we can easily find the perimeter. And it's basically the same problem that I did in the last video from a different perspective. So let's go look at what we have then. So basically what I want to find out first here, I know, I know the apothem already. I want to find the side length and then of course get the perimeter. Let's find the angle. We did this in the last video. We have 360 degrees. It's a pentagon, so we have five sides. So 360 divided by five gives me 72 degrees. So that's the central angle. So here I've, uh, from the center of the pentagon, I've already drawn the perpendicular to the opposite side here. So this is your apothem here. And that we know already to be 13.7638. And we know that this apothem bisects this side here. So these two are the same length, whatever they turn out to be. So we can find one of these. We can double it and get the actual length of the sides. Again, the apothem is from the center of the pentagon to the midpoint of the opposite side. And it's perpendicular and bisects that, that side. So this central angle right here is 72 degrees. So because it bisects that, this is 36 here degrees. And this is 54 over here for this one, because I have to add up to 90. We already have 190 degree right here. And that's what we did last time. So now let's go ahead and clear this. We have the information that we that we need. So remember, I know, I know A here. This value there, that's the bottom, that's given to be 13.7638. So from this triangle right here, that's 3654 triangle right here, I can find the length of this side right here, this, which is half the, the base of that triangle, and then double it, and that'll give me, of course, the, the length of all the sides. So that's what we're going to be doing. So clear this. So we have this set up here. 36 and 54. This is a right angle here. So here's the setup that I have. This side here is X. From this point here to this point here. That's X. And 54 degrees and 36 degrees and the apothem is over here. So I'm taking the tangent then of this angle right here, which is 54 degrees. So 54 degrees right here. Tangent to 54 is the opposite side which is the apothem, which of course is given to be 13.7638 over this side right here. And then what I did here, to going from here to here, I simply multiplied both sides by x. So multiplying this side by x, multiply this side by x, canceled here, and then multiplied this side by x, and then divided, divided both sides by the tangent of 54. And that's how I got this. X then is equal to 13.7638. That's the apothem divided by the tangent of 54. 
You just clear this and say, okay, this x tends to the equal to. And then we just take the uh, calculator and we're going to have 13.7638 divided by divided by the tangent of 54. Hit enter and we get 9.999. Well, that's that's basically rounded out to 10. That's 10. So x is 10. And this was x right here. Remember, this was x right here. And that was the midpoint. These two sides, these two sections were equal. So this is 10. Double it. Or put 10 over here. So the side of the triangle then is 20. 10 plus 10 is 20. In this case, it was inches. Now we have the, now we know the uh, side of the pentagon. So now we can just plug into the formula. We did this already in the previous video, but this was from a different perspective and it's area of the uh, pentagon is one half the apothem, which is 13 point. Now in that problem, I think I rounded it off to 76. So I'm gonna, just so it comes out the same as the other one, 13.76. Doesn't really matter, you could put 0.76 to 38 here. So one half times 13.76, times the perimeter and now we found <coughs> we found each one side was 10 so they're all 10 i'm sorry one side this was 10 so the uh, side is 20 10 and 10 so each side measures 20 inches we want the perimeter so we have five sides five times 20 is 100 so we just multiply that 13.76 times 100 and then divided by 2 we get 688 square inches. So just keep in mind when you're given this type of problem, whether it's a pentagon or a hexagon or whatever, sometimes they'll give you, you'll know how many, um, what the measure of each side is. They'll give you the apothem. So all you got to do is one half the product of the apothem. And the, if you know the length of the side, you can easily find the perimeter and do the multiplication. Now, sometimes they won't give you the apothem, but you know the length of a side. So again, you can find the apothem using the same technique. And again, I'll, I'll link the video, uh, the link to that video on the uh, video description. Find the apothem and you got it. Now in this particular problem, we were given the apothem, didn't know the length of the uh, side. So by doing this calculation here, we found the length of this side to be 10, double it to get the complete length of the side, it was 20. And then you just plug it into the formula. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.